back. Glad to come back to see you guys. Today we'll continue the topic on the laser cleaning machines. Last video we saw the tests. Today we'll continue the following comparison and analysis and the conclusion for all. Probably after this video, we can figure out which laser cleaning machines we should choose 100 watt or 1000 watt. Let's go! Let's take more details under the microscope. The surface aluminum after laser cleaning, C1, is cleaned by pulse fiber laser. We can see the paint on the surface has been completely removed, and there is little damage and no laser lines. C2 is done by continuous fiber laser. The paint was also completely removed, but there was a serious remelting phenomenon on the surface, and laser lines appeared. The surface carbon steel after laser cleaning. D1 is cleaned by pulse fiber laser. The paint on the surface has been completely removed, and the surface is relatively smooth. D2 is made by continuous fiber laser. The paint was also completely removed, but the surface was remelted seriously, and the surface was uneven. Let's check the comparison of surface roughness after laser paint removal. From the chart, we can see that after laser cleaning the paint layer on the aluminum surface, the post laser damages the surface lights, which the surface roughness after cleaning is close to that of the original material. But after continuous laser cleaning, the damage to the surface is greater. So the surface roughness is 1.5 times the roughness of the original material and 1.7 times the surface roughness after post laser cleaning. It is the similar condition to carbon steel. Post fab laser will damage the surface lights. Therefore, the surface roughness after cleaning is close to or even lower than that of the original material. After continuous laser cleaning, the surface roughness is 1.5 times the roughness value of the original material, and 1.7 times the surface roughness after post laser cleaning. Let's see the cleaning efficiency between the two lasers in tests. In terms of paint removal on the aluminum surface, it's much higher, 7.7 .7 times, than that of continuous laser. The cleaning efficiency of post laser is 2.77 square meter per hour, while the continuous laser is 0.36 square meter per hour. For carbon steel, the paint removal efficiency of post laser is also higher, 3.5 times than that of continuous laser. The cleaning efficiency of post laser is 1.06 square meter per hour, while the cleaning efficiency of continuous laser is 0.3 square meter per hour. Let's see the differences between pulse laser cleaning machine and continual laser cleaning machine by the table chart. From the two videos, we got tests, analysis, and comparison between pulse laser cleaning and continuous laser cleaning. Let's make the conclusion now. First, both continuous laser cleaning and pulse laser cleaning can remove the paint layer on the surface to achieve a cleaning effect. 
and they have no differences on the machine appearance. Second, under the same power condition, the cleaning efficiency of pulsed laser cleaning is much higher than that of continuous lasers. At the same time, pulsed lasers can do better control the heat input to prevent excessive substrate temperature or macro mounting so that the pulse laser cleaning will lead to less damage to the base metal plate compared with continuous laser cleaning. Third, there is no consumable for pulse laser cleaning machines, but the protective lenses are the consumables for continuous laser cleaning machines. Fourth, the continuous laser cleaning machine has advantages in price. It means we'll pay less money in purchase continuous laser cleaning machine compared with pulse laser cleaning machine. Fifth, although the high power laser cleaning machines can be used to make up for efficiency, they have greater heat input and increase the damage to the substrate. Therefore, the two laser cleaning machines have a fundamental difference in applications. So our suggestion is that pulse laser cleaning machines for high precision and straight heating control, which requires the substrate to be non-destructive, such as molds for large steel structure, pack lines, etc. Due to their large size and fast heat dissipation and low requirements for substrate damage, continuous laser cleaning machines can be selected. Can you tell the differences between 100 watt and 1000 watt fiber laser cleaning machines now? If you are still confused on that, probably you need to go back to my last video and check it again, or you can write it down in the comment. I will reply you soon. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye!